Well, hello there. A little while ago, I reviewed some stuff from AKK Tech, um, one of which was the X1 VTX, which I've got huddled in just under here on this quad. Now, what I've got here to relieve the, any pressure on the SMA adapter is a little pigtail and then the antenna coming out the quad frame, which is quite a common thing. When AKK asked me if I wanted some more bits to check out, I thought, well, let's cut out the middleman and get the one with the pigtail because that's what most people seem to want on a quad. So what I've got is one called the AKK X1P, where I guess the P stands for pigtail. So this is pretty much ready to go. The normal X1 uh, VTX, but with the pigtail already installed and an obviously extended section here, which should be able to go up. And while I was there, I thought, well, let's get a couple of these SKUs that AKK also do, and we'll see how they work out. So what I'm gonna do first off is just literally swap this out for what's in there now see how it fits in, see how it performs, take it for a fly. Join me in a bit. Just before we go out to the field, here's how this one looks at the moment. Now my swap out only took a few minutes because I already had the wiring in for the original X1. So I've just literally, pigtail obviously goes up through here and comes down here. And I've left it in such a point that I can see, so I don't know if that's focusing, but that's showing my, it should be showing F1 with two dots for 200. And I can reach the button just in here if I want to. So I probably wouldn't have it just hanging down, just maybe a little bit of Velcro just to keep it on there. Antenna is pretty solid. You can bend it to a certain amount into a shape as you want. Obviously this is unprotected, so just be aware of that. Although it goes around this little plastic bits there. So oh, well, we'll see what happens. So one slightly peculiar thing I noticed, the original X1 has an RPSMA adapter. The X1P has an SMA adapter. I'm not quite sure why they're around that way because they don't give you an option about what you can have. Also noted that the antenna which come in pairs, one is RPSMA, one is SMA. So the SMA one's on the quad. The RPSMA one has gone through a little um, adapter to SMA as well as a nice degree elbow so I could put it on my fat sharks. I should just point out that these props are just horrible. These are, I went back and checked my order, DYS 6045 props. The most unbalanced props I've ever had. I spent ages trying to balance them out and I got rid of some of the wobbles and then I broke a prop. Um, and so we're still in trouble. Looking for some different ones, but everyone seems to be out of 6045s at the moment. Anyway, that's uh, by the by, wobbly footage to come. So just to get a bit of feel for the antennas, I also put the other AKK skew on my fat shark. So we're AKK both ways on this initial flight here. And yeah, all quite boring, because I've got nothing to report other than the fact that it worked. I'm on uh, 200 milliwatt is my sort of go-to VTX power, so this is on 200 milliwatts, and it flew absolutely fine. No problems, no interference. Max distance was only about uh, 250 at this point of the field, uh, 250 meters. And yeah, as you'd expect, it's all good. So just as another test, I launched my little Aurora 100 and did some fly rounds. Obviously, it's using its own little VTX and SKU, but I'm just using a AKK SKU still on the goggles. And once again, everything is good. So excellent, you know, no faults there. Still looking very nice. Still waiting for the European Amazon stores to open, so hopefully that won't be long. And then we can actually get some of this stuff in Europe as well as uh, you guys in the US. So yeah, that was the AKK X1P VTX. Like the fact it's got the pigtail there, as well as the AKK SMA and RP SMA antennas. Worked well, nice and predictable, liked them. Links are of course down below as per normal and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.